In this video we will look at how we can insert space around the text within a TK Inter label. As an aside, if there are any lines of code that you are unsure of in this video, please bear in mind that they have already been covered earlier in this TK Inter playlist of videos. So if you are unsure of any lines of code, please watch the earlier videos in the TK Inter playlist. This program creates an instance of a window on this line. Here we can see that we're going to set the size of the window to 400 by 250. And then within the code you can see that we have one, two, three, four labels. Those labels are then going to be packed onto the window so we can view them at runtime. If we look at this label and this one you can see that both have the instance of the window passed to them and they both will display the text spacer. Now these are here just to insert labels within the window so we can clearly see what the look of this label and this one are like. If we consider this label you can see that the text is made hello world, the border width is set to 1, the relief is set to solid which means we'll see the border around the label and here we're going to set the font to times and 32. If you come down here you will see that these lines are the same as the lines here. However, here we have this, pad x equals 20. If I run this program, what we're going to see is the following. We have the two labels that have the text spacer. If we look at this label, you can see that within it, it says, hello world. We can see it has a border. If we come to this one, you can see it also has hello world. But look in this region and this region here, and you can see there is a space. Now, the reason we have that space there is if you come to this named argument, you can see we set it to 20. Now that means pad in the x-axis and that means we're going to put a space here and a space here. I've now made two amendments to the program we've just considered. I've included here pad x is assigned 20 and down here I've changed it to pad x is assigned 40. So when this program executes what we're going to see is this and you can see where the pad x was 20 we get a space here and here and when the pad x was 40 we get a space here and here and you can see it's a bigger space than the space here because this is 40 whereas up here the space was 20 but we can see that both of them are pad X we're padding in the X direction let's now consider this computer program and if we look at label 2 you will note that we've removed any padding we've removed pad X whereas if we look at label 4 you can see we have some padding but this time we're padding the Y and we're making it assigned 10 so when we run this program what we will see is the following and if you look at label 2 you can see there is no padding but if you look at label 4 you will see there is padding and it is in this area in the Y axis this program shows two amendments from the one we've just discussed. Here you can see I've included pad Y and it's been assigned 10. And we've already seen what that looks like in the previous video. Whereas down here you can see I've changed pad Y from being assigned 10 to being assigned 20. The view we will see when this program executes is shown here. And if you look at the spaces on this label, you can see they are appearing here. Whereas if we look at the spaces on this label, you can see that they appear here and obviously the spaces on this label are bigger than the spaces on this one in the y-axis because here we've assigned pad y with 10 whereas here we've assigned pad y with 20 which is obviously a bigger number which gives us a bigger space when we come to padding in the y direction. If we consider this computer program I've removed any padding from label 2 whereas if we look at label 4 what we can see down here is is I've pad X with 20 and I've padded Y also with 20 and when this program runs what we will see is this we can see that label 2 has no padding whereas if we look at label 4 we can see that it is padding in the X and the Y axis 
For this program, you can see that I've gone to Label 2 and I've made Pad X and Pad Y both assigned 10. Whereas for Label 4, you can see here Pad X and Pad Y both to 20. If this program is then executed, what we will see is this. And have a look at the space around both sets of text. And you should clearly see, and it should be obvious now, as to which one has the most padding around the text and the reason why. For this program, you can see for label 2, I've made pad X 40 and pad Y 10, showing that they can be different. And down here, you can see that I've made pad X 10 and pad Y 30. So if we look at the runtime for this one, what we will see is this. And have a look at the space around the labels, and you can see how they do differ from one another, because the values we've chosen here actually differ. Pause the video to make sure you can appreciate which text has has the most space in the X axis and which has the most space in the Y axis and the reason why. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.